Hello, everybody. Thank you so very much for being here and listening my channel, Ivana Tero Readings. This one is going to be yearly tarot reading for astrological sign Libra. My dear Libras, welcome. Thank you so very much for being here. New Year in front of us, 2016. So, welcome. Female and male Libras, I will try to describe you. Of course, this is general reading, but I will try and do my best to tell you what you can expect in 2016. As you can see, I already shuffled my cards. In front of us, we have 12 cards for each and every month in 2016. So, I will follow astrological chart. So, this is January, your first house. This is February, your second astrological house. This is March, your third house. And on and on and on. I will describe everything that I can see regards every aspect in your life. Your finances, your work your love life, your past life, your karma, etc. So, hopefully you are going to like it and Libras have fun. Okay, rule is still the same. Please listen not only your sun sign, but go and listen your moon sign and your rising sign as well. Probably among those two stories, your, these three stories, you will find one story which probably going to be the most resonate with your private life. Okay, let's get started. As I already uh, told you, we have 12 cards for each astrological house. But I have in my hand one more card. And this 13th card, it is going to be probably the most important for 2016 and with this card I will connect each and every next card in your spread. What is this Three of Swords tarot card all about? Probably most of you already know when you get in your spread Three of Swords mm -hmm. yes, this is big pain in your heart this is losing probably your love in 2015 if this resonates with you then you already know your heart is not probably still healed but this is your path you will heal your heart and in the next half an hour we're gonna try find out what is the best advice and path for you to take nevertheless your first and main task for you to do is healing your heart okay my libras this is probably something for 2015 let's let's get started first house astrological with major arcana the devil in it first house talk about your self image about you who you are what you think about yourself and your a physical appearance libras listen to me very carefully with three of swords that I just shown to you and with the devil in your first house this is exactly during 2016 but especially in the January put all wounds behind yourself this is your first task everything that you do not want any longer in your life put it behind yourself 
Libras with the devil in your first house because I already said to you this is your physical appearance follow my advice please Libras male and female you are well known in the whole white world world that you are so gentle so kind wanting to please everybody in your surrounding but this is no good for you anymore your first task is to think about yourself much more than you've done in many many years until now go guard yourself from any kind of codependent relationship this is no good for you no anymore this is over as soon as you find out for yourself this is the big truth about you you will gain again in your life peace this is the here found in your second astrological sign and one more thing I want to tell you about your physical appearance Libras become once again who you really are the most beautiful people probably out in all from all astrological signs Libra are known for their beauty how come Libra with the devil tarot card in your first house how come you kind of forget about your makeup about your new haircut about your jewelry about your new clothes what is happening to you Libra what kind of problem you have in 2015 maybe even earlier than that this is kind of you have Saturn in your first house obligations obligations work and only trying to find a new material resources you must face that first of all you are nice and beautiful very gentle and kind human being so listen my advice turn back to yourself put all of those balls and chains that you hold on your neck on your arms on your legs this is not who you are wake up and try to listen this advice that I already gave to you second astrological house month of February with Hierophant in it what kind of answer you can find in your second astrological house this is your self money possession this is how you earn your money this is your self-esteem and this is all of your talents Libra what is your biggest talent out of all remember who you are Libra your nature astrological house is the seventh one you belong to other people you are happy ha happiest when you are among other people so don't stay by yourself in your home but listen my advice go among other people because this is who you are you are so very good as a healer you are so very good as concealer so this is what you should do this is also when your money possibility lay so follow this advice with here of fund people from your surrounding will come to you you do not have to go anywhere kind of out in the world no other people 
will come to you seeking for advice and healing. You are full of understanding because now you pass through your personal hell. This is purgatory. And after you pass this dark night, this is in month of February, who you will become. This is your talent. You know exactly, probably, what I am speaking about. This is your nightmare, this is your hell from inside. And now, first of all, you will heal yourself. After that, other people will come and seek advice from you. With Hierophant, I am telling you, the very best in business sense, the very best position for you is to be some kind of healer. This is who you really are. Especially with water in your sixth house. This is who you are. You heal with your emotion and with your emotional intelligence that you can connect yourself with other people who will reach your advice. Okay, move on. March, month of March, your third house. What kind of answers you can find in this house? This is where live your siblings, your relatives, your brothers and your sisters. This is internet. This is how you write. This is how you speak. Or this is your chances to go on short trip. With Queen of Cups in your third astrological house, I see many people come from a distance seeking for your emotional support very easily. This could be your sister or your brother, especially females figures, especially Queen of Cups. Scorpios, Pisces, Cancers, but of course any other astrological sign could come and seek for your advice. If you plan to go on any kind of trip, this is going to be overseas. This trip is going to be somehow connected with the water, lakes, seas, or springs or any kind source of a water you will find yourself that you can rest you can fill up your batteries near water follow this advice and you will fulfill your empty batteries batteries next to water also your sisters need you. Your siblings, especially female one, need you. I see you very deeply connected with your brothers and especially with your sisters. If your sister has some kind of problem, you will understand it and you will help. You will heal any kind of problem. If you want to write a novel or book of any kind, this is probably going to be either a book about healing or love novel. Move on. April with the Emperor in it. Your fourth house. This is your home. This is your rest. This is your roots. This is your mother. This is all of your beginning and your ending. The emperor. This is you. You are the emperor of any kind of plan that you want to achieve. 
Now you understand. By now you understand. Why you have to go through hell to get here? Because you have to be the emperor, the king, the master of your destiny and of your home. This is Libras who you are. You become this person. Very strong and very wise. You see many signs of authority, crown, scepter, big white or gray hair, gray beard. This is all sign of authority on our physical realm. You become an authority. And you know, you cannot be authority before you come in certain age. You cannot be authority with probably having 18 years. But now, that when you are come in your middle age, let's say, now you become an authority. Allowed by higher worlds. This is who you are. You know exactly now who you are. You know exactly what you want. Everybody in your household now is prepared to listen. You. Maybe before. In previous years, situation was just the other way. You have to listen to everybody else. But not any longer. Not any longer. This is who you are now. The emperor, the ruler of your life. Especially in your household now, everything is in your influence. You are going to be in your household the most influ influential person. We move on. Month of May and your fifth house. Love. Creativity. What you love. Serious love. School love. Any kind of love before you get in marriage. This is Nine of Pentacles. Libras. This is, first of all, your creativity. With your own creativity, you can achieve this. This is who you are. You may be even working from your home and, and earning for yourself monthly salary. This is your creativity. Holding bird in your left hand, this is a symbol for following your own path, following your creativity that you hold inside of yourself. Up until now, you was not ready, <coughs> excuse me, to follow your creativity, to follow your emotion, to follow what you really want and love to work. But now, this is the time. For those of you who are single, you will meet your partner in your school, in your college, in your university. You will meet your future love in your work environment. Very easily, this person could be your superior or some other person in higher position. Any kind of associates connected with your work environment, this person who is going to be your future partner. Especially Libras, for those of you out there who spend many time being single. This is your new opportunity and this man or woman, it is going to be exactly what you are praying for. 
person older than you are, very established, very powerful, very educated and very connected to his or her higher self. This is exactly what you need. This is exactly what you will get. Move on. Month of June with tarot card 7 of cups in it. What six house are talking about? About your health, about your pets, about your work environment, about your known enemies and about service to others. Excuse me for this noise. I cannot help it. With seven of cups in your with seven of cups in your health house, guard yourself of any kind of addiction. Because seven of cups is not so very balanced water. This is unbalanced unbalanced emotion. Emotion with no balance. And you are Libra. You must have everything in balance. So guard yourself for taking alcohol, any kind of uh, drugs and similar stuff. If you have any kind of problem with your health, especially connected with your veins and blood circulatory system, go and find, go and seek advice from your doctor. If you are natural healer, this is very good for you. By now you know how to manage higher energetic level and heal other people. If you want to buy any kind of pet for you, probably golden fishes are going to be the very, the very best for you. Why? Because you need water in your surrounding. Water is good Libras for you. And also working on your own, being on your own, probably this is very best for you. Don't be afraid of these new energies coming your way. Choose wisely and choose what is best for you. If you do not get along very well with your colleague, know that many jealous people you have around yourself, Libras, so guard from them. Okay, we move on. This is month of July. I have page of swords in your seventh house. Your seventh house speak about your partnerships, about your partner, about your husband and wife. This is house when you can find contracts of any kind, join interests between you and your partner. So, what is that? With Page of Swords, you are not willing anymore to follow your partner's wishes. Nope. All those connection will fall apart. You do not want to be co-independent person anymore. This is big no for all Libras out there. Now it is time from January through the whole year to follow who you are and your wishes. Page of Swords. This is also news and information about your previous partners. You will find out some deep dark secret which is connected with your previous partner. What you are going to do with this information, I don't know. You will decide for your own. But probably you really do not want to hear 
anything at all about your previous love partner. Just remember this card. This is exactly what you have to deal with. Put aside any kind of partner coming from your past. This is no good, no more, especially not for you, Libras. New love you can expect in next month. New love come your way in August. Why? Because I have two of cups in your eighth house. Two of cups. This is the very best month for you if you are single. If you already in committed love relationship, no. Know this that you and your spouse, husband or your wife, depends of course on your gender, you will reconcile once again on very deeply, deeply emo emotional level. You will find out that you love your husband or your wife very deeply. So, the two of you already are the best people for each other. And all of the sudden, especially after reappearance of past, some kind of friend or past lover in your life, you will find out, my God, I have already what I wanted with all of my heart. So the month of August, it is going to be so very good for you. Also, your eighth house, this is house of your sexual relationship, about your secrets, about money coming from your partner. Your partner, if you are in long, long established, established partners, partnerships, ships, excuse me, <laughs> you can hear so big and so good news. This is big promotion for your partner. You are going to celebrate. This is biggest probably month for you. February, then August. This is all what you want for yourself. And this is exactly what you will have till the end of the month of the year 2016. So, very nice. This is also very easily buying a new house in the month of August for you. Much bigger house than you have before. Move. Move in the next house. This is month of September with tarot card 10 of swords in it. Who live in your ninth house? What kind of answer you can seek in astrological ninth house? This is where God lives. This is your spiritual knowledge. This is your long travels. This is your books connected with religion. This is studying foreign culture or foreign language. With Ten of Swords, Libras, especially month in September, this is no good month for planning any kind of long travels. Take my advice. This is just no good month for planning overseas big, big and long distance travel. With Ten of Swords, something will get wrong. So please follow my advice and return to your everyday obligation. Stay put because August is good, October is good, but this month of September is no good for long travels. Also, in this month, you will find that prayers are the very big, uh, what is the word? You will find out that prayer as such is the most powerful thing that you came across. This is also renewal 
of spiritual knowledge and books regards education connected with studying spiritual world. For some years, you forgot how deeply you are connected with your higher self. Now, I see renewal interest coming from you, especially in the month of September. Career, your career path, your 10th house and month of October with major arcana tempers in it who live in your 10th house your father your career path this is your commitment and your future career path so with major arcana tempers you know exactly that you waited long enough and now this is your moment very powerful month for connected yourself with your especially superior one at your at your work you will find out that your and your colleagues and especially your superior have very same idea what you can put in your work in your job so you and your colleagues especially in connection with your superior with your bosses at your work, you will give the most out there you can give from inside of you to set new goal, new idea and you will find out that your superior and you have the very same joint interest. This is big moment, month of October. This is where with your patient, with your knowledge, you can achieve whatever you want. This is very important moment because all of the sudden your superior will find something inside of you that they are not seeing in you up until now. So month of October is going to be very strong, powerful and important from you. Remember this uh, month of October, my dear Libras. Okay, move along. This is month of November with Ace of Wands in it. Wishes, friends, learning how to improve yourself. This is everything in your wishes. This is your ideas about your future life. This is also your dreams. You will find out by the month of November up until now, from January till November, every single dream and wish you already make come true. This is big revealing for you, Libras. This is big revealing. Now you know when you are so strong in your wishes, when you listen only yourself, Nobody in your surrounding, you are going to be so very successful. Now, by now, by the month of November, you know that exactly. You will listen only yourself. No more advices, thousands of advices coming from your friends, which are not. You will find out that not every friend wanting you good. But with Ace of Wands, now you know that. Now you listen only yourself. You don't allow anybody from outside to ruin your wishes, your ideas and your dreams. Now you have a big want. And if you have to, you will strike any person that are going to talk anything against you. Now you become powerful as a person. And this is the very best news that I can give you. The last one card, this is your last astrological house, the 12th house. This is your karma, this is your 
past life. This is your undoing. This is everything that you have you have you want to put us out from you. This is also your thoughts that haunts you. And what I see. Major Arcana the lovers. So who is that? Libras, I will tell you in a second. This is finally your soulmate. This is two soul soul on totally equal energetic level. Do you see Libras who are going to get known to this person? Angel. Angel as representative of God. This person you await for your whole life. And this is exactly what you will get. This is your finally dream come true. This is also person coming after so many struggles and searching all around the world. He or she will find you. After all, you will reach your happiness. After so many struggles having in your life, this is your final outcome. True love. My dear Libras, hopefully you are going to like this yearly tarot reading for year 2016. Thank you so very much for being here. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Bye-bye. Take care.